Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, guys. How are you, everybody? Are you okay? That's good. Guys, today my topic is related with bridge engineering. That's why, because from a lot of time I didn't discuss anything related with bridge. So, therefore, today this important video lecture is related with bridge engineering. So, in this video, I will discuss classification of bridge from start to end. Then you are able to learn something new related with bridge engineering. So, let's start, guys. If this video is helpful for you, so like the video. If not, so dislike the video. But if you are new on this channel, so subscribe the channel with press bell icon, then you are able to learn something new like this. Let's start. Bridge classification. As you can see, in first stage we have four. The first one is materials, usage, structural form and its span for bridge especially in cl uh, uh, bridge classification okay so let's start there we have in material something usage and also at structure form at span so here the first one is materials so rcc uh, not rcc bridge i'm talking about the bridge okay so in bridge we have different materials according to its classification so steel bridge okay its material from steel from concrete okay also wood hybrid stone or masonry so these are related materials with bridge okay because i've already discussed you can made or you can make rcc bridge also steel bridge stone masonry also brick masonry wood bridge or hybrid so these are its material by which you can make a bridge or you can do the construction of bridge in its classification so here the usage of bridge so pedestrian highway railway and aircraft so these are the usage of bridge right these now in third stage we have a structure form a structure form is slab girder truss arc suspension okay and cable state and also we have slab uh, bridge also there is okay girder also truss bridge and arch bridge or arc bridge also suspension bridge these are at structure form okay and cable state bridge so these are at structure forms now the last one is about its span because there is a span and bridge for different uh, materials and also for different structure and for different usage we have different spans okay so that is short medium and long by which we can find its design and its usage easily short medium and long so guys this video is very helpful for you people from start to end you need its material and you should know about its usage you should know about its structure form and its pen etc so guys in next video i will also uh, record a new video special related with bridge engineering so guys if you have any question about this video so you can comment so i will try to reply your answer so for today this is enough thanks for watching see you in the next video goodbye